Welcome back to another episode of Erwin Adventures. I hope everybody is having a great day. Today we're going to do something I've never done on this channel before. We're actually going to be making the lures we use in today's video. So I plan on making some soft plastic lures here just like this one. Uh, with that I have a whole bunch of materials to do that. So here are some of the materials we're going to use. Glitter, colorant, plastisol. Uh, we'll use that to make the soft plastic lure. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hop straight into it and start making these lures. Uh, then we're going to go fishing with it this afternoon and hopefully catch some fish. So I hope you guys enjoy. So what we got here is some clear plastisol. Um, it looks white right now, but obviously as it cooks down, it will turn clear. Uh, I'm gonna pop it in the microwave here for three minutes. I have a 700 watt microwave. Um, so that's usually about what it takes for this to meet, reach 350 degrees uh, to be cooked. That way when we inject it, it will actually harden instead of just staying like a gel. Uh, so we're gonna put that in here for three minutes. So for these baits, I'm just gonna pour uh, with two molds. Pretty simple, right here we have a, a fluke mold. Um, and then right here we have a, a creature mold. It's called the, the stinger mold, okay? Four inch stinger. Uh, both these molds I purchased on anglingai.com. Be sure to check them out. I'll leave a link in their description below if you are looking to buy some, some of their gear. To my understanding, they are on the pricey side. Um, they're definitely super pricey, but you get the quality that you want in these molds that shoot pretty well every time. Um, so definitely check them out if you're interested in this, this kind of stuff. Here we go. So it looks like our plastisol is about done. Like I said, it's clear. Uh, the next thing we're gonna add is some color. I got dead on plastics, uh, green pumpkin here. And a good place to start is about 40 drops per cup of plastisol. Um, if you're trying to make consistent baits, I'm just trying to make a cool color here, something cool. So I'm not gonna worry about staying consistent. So I'm just gonna drip it in there until it looks good and we'll go from go from there, I guess. So there we go to start, definitely a cool color, but it's pretty clear as you can see. Uh, you can see right through it to the blade of the knife. So I'm gonna add a little bit more here just to thicken this up. Okay, so we're actually gonna add uh, some chartreuse. Excuse me. We're actually gonna add some chartreuse as well to this. Uh, see what it does. There we go. Lightened it up a little. Next thing we're gonna do here is add some glitter. Um, some black glitter, small black glitter. Then along with the black glitter, we're also gonna add some bigger gold, gold flake here. There we go. That's what we're working with here, which I like. This is super cool, uh, super cool color. I think there's a, a color close to this. I forget what it's called. Uh, something gold, due to the gold flake, obviously. But what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna heat it up, then we're gonna inject it into our molds. Okay. Let's give her one last stir here. Again, this is what we're working with here. One last little stir. Let's get our molds here. Super, 
pretty color, pretty natural. Should work great. We're gonna let these cool down for about five minutes. We'll come back, we'll crack them open. We'll see what we got. Okay, these have cooled off. They should be uh, good to open up here. All right, if we can get them open, I will show you. There we go. That is what we're working with. So I'm gonna let these sit still. You're gonna wanna take them out of here and then lay them however you're gonna wanna keep them uh, for the next 24 hours because that's how they're gonna form and stay. I'm gonna be fishing with these this afternoon so I don't have 24 hours. So I'm just gonna dunk them in some water and lay them flat. We'll go from there. Um, but there are the stingers that turned out gorgeous. Okay. Now for the flukes, see how they turned out. There we go. Such pretty color. So that is what we're working with this afternoon. Um, like I said, I'm gonna shoot a couple more of these. I won't make you guys watch that. I'm gonna lay them out and we'll go fishing this afternoon see if we can't catch any fish. Alrighty guys, so I wasn't able to fish the afternoon that I did make those lures. Unfortunately, some stuff came up and I wasn't able to fish. So I fished the following morning. Uh, we started off at a pond. Um, it was on a golf course and the water was actually really low. It was down like five feet from normal. Uh, it was harder to get some fish to bite. So we ended up switching to reaction baits or heart baits because we couldn't get them to bite the soft plastics. So I switched up to a jerk bait uh, and then we switched back to the soft plastics and catch some fish there. I'll just play the clips, let you guys see it for yourself. I hope you guys enjoy. That was so sick, so sick. On <clears throat> the jerk bait. There we go. All right. Little guy, but we'll take him for a first fish. We're gonna give him a little bit of a yeet because it's really shallow right here. So there you go, buddy. Here you go. So that was so sick. What happened there was I could literally see the fish in this inches of water waking over here and I cast it over at it. And uh, the, the lure was only in like two inches of water. And I jerked it like twice and he just came up to it and attacked it. He came off. <laughs> Here we go. Spot number two. Sprinklers are going. Great. Perfect. There's a fish. There he is. Strong one. It's not big, but strong. There we go. Alrighty, got that hook out of him. 
little guy but we'll take him today's been super slow so whatever it is we'll take Alrighty guys, that is all for today's episode. I do appreciate the view. If you guys do like the lure making part of this uh, video, definitely leave me a comment and let me know and I'll make more like that. Otherwise, I'll just stick to the fishing. Uh, but I definitely like making lures. It's been super fun for me. There's just so much stuff you can do and that's it. I, I've only experimented with soft plastics and there's so many different types of glitter, color pigments, uh, powders. It's ridiculous. It goes on and on. Uh, and I've really enjoyed it so far. And I definitely would like to do more on the channel. So if you guys like that, definitely leave me a like and comment below that you want to see more of that. And I'll definitely be sure to do that. Uh, and as well, if you are liking that kind of content, be sure to follow me on Instagram at River Shack Lures. That will be uh, my, my lure making Instagram. So check me out there. Alrighty, guys, that will be it. I hope you guys have a great day and thank you for watching.